From a meta perspective, Farina having mid to bad Hydro application is not a bad thing, right? She has other parts of her kit that make up for it. Well, that's not exactly true. For Farina to be worthy of being an Archon, her entire kit is going to need to be a step above what it is currently at, or what we think it might be. Everything related to Farina is purely hypothetical and for discussion purposes based purely on my opinion in this video. And I definitely want to stress that if you want Farina, then pull Farina. I'm talking purely from a meta perspective and what to expect if you get Farina in the current state. I'm still going to get Farina despite all of these issues. Just wanted to throw that out there. There has been a ton of debate on the future release for the Hydro Archon. The most prominent concerns is her Hydro application. Right now, it's pretty bad. She could not function in a bait team as a solo Hydro character. Here is an example of how her Hydro application may be. As you can see, it's pretty bad. So, for characters like Hu Tao, this isn't that big an issue. She wants another Hydro character alongside her, but what about literally every other Pyro character? I'm sure people want to use Farina with Dia especially, along with Yoimiya and even Diluc, even Yanfei. Well, she will be a horrible character to be paired with them because her Hydro application is just not up to what it should be. For each of these teams, an example would be to pair them with Kazaha and Bennett. In both of these cases, only Sing Chu can provide enough Hydro to allow Kazaha's burst as well as the Pyro main to actually bait all of their hits. There is no other way. So you have two options, don't use Kazaha's burst or don't use Farina. And that would be fine, but Farina can't even keep up with one Pyro character's application. Now, you could swirl Hydro, but that's not a good idea, because you're going to be missing out on Kazaha's Pyro buff, and the uptime of Kazaha's burst is pretty bad, especially if you have to take time to infuse the Hydro. To truly resolve this, you have to use another Hydro character, and either lose Bennett's massive attack buff, or Kazaha's massive anima buff. Both are terrible options. Now, for Yoimiya and Diluc, they have better options to replace Farina, like of course, Elon and Sing Chu, but what about other characters like Dia? We all know that Dia's kit makes no sense at C0, and she has barely any characters that work in tandem with her as it is. I was hoping Farina would be the perfect fix. The team would be Dia, Farina, Kazaha, and Bennett, and with Farina's massive Hydro application, it would work perfectly, but that's not the case. As it stands, the optimal Dia vape team is Dia with Mona but you will not be able to vape if you ever even think about using Kazaha's burst. And again, you could maybe do Dia, Mona, Farina, and Bennett, but you will lose out on grouping and the benefits of Kazaha in this team. So this brings up a major point, balancing. Is it balanced for Farina to not be able to have as much Hydro application as Sing Chu? Maybe, maybe her burst does something more. If you really think about it, Sing Chu is a 4 star. Surprising, I know, but at the end of the day, Sing Chu is a 4 star character. But on top of that, Farina is the Archon. And the other parts of her kits do not make up for it. Let's just summarize what her kit might do, hypothetically. In a team without a party wide healer, you'll be getting roughly a 10 to 30% damage increase during her burst, and it ramps up from 0%. The more damage you heal or drain, then the higher it is, but that's already similar to Elon, and honestly, that's kind of pathetic. Keep in mind, Elon gives 50% damage boost at the end of her burst with no conditions. On top of that, Elon has the second best Hydro application in the game for an off-fielder. With all of this information, let's ask the question. If you have Sing Chu, and you have Elon, why would you pull Farina? For damage? Well, Elon already does massive damage on her own, and her burst already gives the active character a 50% damage bonus towards the end of it. And Farina, with all of her conditions met, 
meaning sacrificing a sub DPS slot for a party wide healer, you're using a character that can cut at least half of their HP, and you're constantly losing HP and then you get the same or worse percent damage increase than Elon. So for damage, that's a negative. You have Elon who is far superior to her. But wait, her elemental application is tied to her skill. This is a mute point because Elon and Xingxu may need their burst, but neither of them are going to have any issues recharging their burst, especially since they both want Severed Fates as a set. They both have essentially 100% uptime as well, so their skills really just serve as a way to recharge their energy. But Karina is already going to have energy issues at C0 unless she has massive amounts of energy recharge, and she can't run Severed Fate, and she gets no bonuses from energy recharge. And to make things worse, Elon's burst is already Farina's skill and burst in one. Well, it's not tied to a normal attack. The only characters that really care about that is Dia and Yuvalet. There are a few others, but you get the point. It's not really going to matter in all of those other teams because they have way more options than Dia has in a bait team. Compared to Nahida, who has a very powerful kit in terms of Dendra application and buffing, Farina just falls short by a long shot. With everything said here, why would you pull Farina? Yulon is better in terms of power, Singcho is better in terms of elemental application, what else can she do? Sure, she can heal, but you're never going to be healing with Farina, because if you want to heal, you have to sacrifice her damage and hydro application, because her skill can only do one thing at a time, either attack or heal. And then, don't you just have Kokomi if you really want healing along with hydro application? All in all, all she's really doing extra is damaging you. And how's that beneficial? So at the moment, her kit is really flawed, and is looking to be the worst Archon to be released. I myself can't name one reason I would use her over the current characters in my team. Now, this will most likely change, but I just want to just stress that Hydro application is probably the most important part of her kit. And for an Archon that is supposed to be able to work with all characters in the game, she is severely lacking. Why would you pull a character that is mid, an Archon that is mid? Nahida stands at the top of Dendro teams. She is utterly broken. Zhongli is the best shielder in the game. When it comes to energy recharge, Raiden will save the day along with dishing out massive amounts of damage. And we can't forget that Venti is the best grouper in the game. What is Farina the best at? Nothing. She's not even really superior in any way because she's a jack of all trades. But not only is she a jack of all trades, but she's lacking in every compartment. What else can be said? Now, she will function in most teams that involve Hyper Bloom and Electro Charge, but for Vape, she's just the worst choice in this case. This is my current prediction for Farina, but in the upcoming weeks, my opinion can change as more information is released. Just wanted to shed some light on the situation because not everyone wants to use Farina in only Hu Tao teams alongside Elon or Sing Chu. At the end of the day, I'm still pulling for her, but we will have to see when she releases. If you made it this far, then you may as well like the video, right? It's a win-win for the both of us, so please hit that like button. Until next time, Enigma out.